Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode Let's Play, where we are still diving right back into Elite Zoo North. Fear not ye with commitment issues that are the opposite of what we typically call commitment issues. I'm in the same boat. We're still going to Elite Zoo North at least until episode 100, until we eventually go and create ourselves in Elite Zoo South. That seems to be the... Whoa! No, no, no. Cancel. Ho, ho. Ho 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 ho! I meant to hit the little X over here. Wow. Um, that still seems to be the <laughs> I can't believe that almost just happened while recording. That's hilarious. I'm going to keep that in. Um, that seems to be the most popular uh, like idea so far. There have been some other great ideas as well, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it also feels like there, there's been a lot of like request for a uh, an Australia uh, Elite Zoo South as opposed to an Africa Elite Zoo South. Either way, it'll all be sub um equatorial is that the term it'll it'll all be southern hemisphere animals so it's not like we're going to exclude animals from africa if we you know plant our roots uh for elite zoo south in australia uh, but as you can see there's a good bit of variety down here in terms of where we might want to end up uh as far as biomes are concerned uh so again something to think about i'm, I'm kind of tempted to do desert so we can blend desert with that oasis feel that i was kind of mentioning a couple sessions ago uh but the same thing obviously is possible in africa as well though if we want to be true to our uh you know southern hemisphere and whatnot we'll have to either be over here or over here um and if it's Elite Zoo South, we should probably push as far as we can. I don't know. It's stuff to think about. Folks, let's dive into Elite Zoo North for now, though. Enough time wasted rambling about the far... The near far future. It's not that far away. The future. Uh, let's go on and deal with the present and click resume as opposed to close zoo. That would be wise. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> and that's why, ladies and gentlemen, when designing a user interface or a user experience, uh, you always have confirmation for 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 negative impact actions anyway uh as always just want to mention folks if you're enjoying this series and you want to see it continue you're excited for either elite zoo south or our nocturnal zoos or our conservation efforts down the line whatever it is you're excited for let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below and again if you're nervous let me know down below as well i've seen at least a couple of you uh, object to the idea of leaving Elite Zoo North and I I hear you and I feel for you and I feel that fear and I feel that concern um, but I think it's necessary on so many levels right not gonna belabor that point any further I do want to mention something uh, so my apologies but unfortunately before I had to record this I was not able to read through all of the comments of the previous uh, episode um, I like to read through them all in a sitting before recording, but it takes roughly an hour or so. And just because of a lot of crazy stuff that's been going on this weekend and today, super exciting stuff actually for the channel. Uh, I can't share too much, unfortunately, but you'll find out over the next couple of weeks or month or so, I think. Um, super exciting stuff. However, it's ki it kind of got in my way of being able to uh, pre-read comments and things like that as well. I apologize, but what I will be doing is right after... Uh, this episode has been recorded. I'll be going through and reading through all your comments uh, because, again, as always, I do enjoy reading through them all. Uh, I make it a point to read through them all because it's just a great way to get your insight. And actually, before I forget, again, like I said, I, I did manage to read through some of them. I haven't read through all of them, but before I forget, I want to make sure that our info center over here is renamed to Hide and Seek. Not Hide and a Seek. Hide and seek there we go uh because it's right next to the himalayan hideout and it's where you seek out information which i think is just absolutely amazing uh, now unfortunately uh like i said again right i haven't been able to read through all your comments i don't know all of your thoughts and everything um but i will be looking at all that after i record this session uh but what we're going to be doing this session actually is we're going to be going heavy on management um we've kind of forsaken that for a little while i want to say it's been I think at one point we said we're going to try to do it at least once a week. I think it's been at least two weeks, or this is the second week. Last week we didn't do any management session, and I think it's important that we get one in for a few reasons. Uh, we're having some trouble. I mean, I believe we, we cleared out the Titan Beetles, right? So they, they shouldn't be a problem anymore. God, I love this space. It is really something special, this tavern. Uh, but, sorry, um, the Titan Beetles we took care of last session, I believe, but there might be other problems elsewhere. Uh, we want to take a look at maybe how the wolves are doing. I haven't actually heard about any baby wolves recently. That's a bit of a concern. want to make sure that we are still breeding 
more members into this pack. Actually, what is going on here? Um, hold on, let me just do an overview before we get into it all. Uh, so I do think a, a management episode is very much required, and during this management we might also try to finally make some more large-scale changes to Flamingo Park. The first step is uh, we're going to put down some uh, coverage. Let's let's go ahead and do that right away, actually. Uh, and as I as I as I take a look and see where you are from, you are a tropical plant. Are these guys okay with tropical plants? Where are you? There you are. Um, Zoopedia. I'm so worried about just clicking the wrong button throughout today now because of that one mishap earlier. Uh, tropical plants, yes. So what I, what I want to do is I want to get the Scavola bush because it, it worked for um, it worked for the tortoises to put down some like screening plants. So I want to do that over here. And if that doesn't work, we might actually raise our um, raise our path over here and make it uh, not just a walk through, but a walk over, like an overpass enclosure. One step at a time, though. We're going to start with this. And as, as I plant all these down, I just want to mention, folks, to those of you uh, that do not care for sessions that do not have time lapses, again, no hard feelings or anything, I totally understand, this is going to be a session without a time lapse, uh, almost guaranteed. There is a low likelihood of a time lapse if I come across something that I think needs it, um, but yeah, but I'm, I'm fairly certain we're not going to have a time lapse today. It's going to be just a lot of management stuff, taking care of our animals, uh, looking at our animals, you know, seeing them in action, making sure our guests are having a good time, ensuring that uh, our staff is doing well. We actually need to upgrade our staff and stuff as well. I haven't done that in a while. There's a lot to do that we've been neglecting, and I, I really want to get all that uh, sorted. Uh, but as always, you know, I want to be uh, fully transparent and respectful of your time and stuff. So if you're eagerly hoping for a time lapse today, then there is a very high chance uh, that there is not going to be one. Um, and and yes, there is some beautification left to do. We do want to get some of these uh, stores and stuff covered up. Uh, where are they? Oh my god, I have to scroll so much fa farther than I used to have to. We want to get some coverings for these stores and stuff. Uh, but I figured, you know what? We'll save that for uh, for next time. Um, for now, I want to I want to take care of some of these things because I was watching back some of the episodes, uh, just like you know, scrubbing through them and, and just getting a sense for for how things have been, and the the flurry of of notifications that come through when they come through, preventing me from doing some of the things that I've needed to do for a very long time. It's it's a bit uh, a bit much, <laughs> to put it lightly. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan for today, and I hope y'all are excited for it. I know many of you love management sessions, and that's always good to hear. Uh, different strokes for different folks, right? Um, but I do, I do like to stick to our the fact that this is a let's play, and uh, it's not just a sandbox building um, kind of a thing. Those are cool too. Not taking anything away from that. Please don't you know misconstrue uh, what I'm trying to say. All I'm saying is that uh, when I kicked off, you know, almost a hundred episodes ago now. <laughs> <laughs> when I kicked off a, uh, a franchise mode Let's Play, the intent was very much that we would be restricted by money, by guests' moods, by having to take care of our animals and not just build spaces for them. Because I feel like that adds that extra layer. That's what makes it a... Uh, uh, it may <sighs> looking for the right words. I was going to say that's what makes it a game as opposed to a... Sandbox. I mean, I guess is the literal term, right? The, 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 uh, I think I might have the wrong words there, but you know what I'm getting at. The challenge is what makes us have to be up against something that isn't just our uh, building skills. Um, so as a result of that, management episodes are definitely a necessity. Is it too dark is the question. Well, we're going to have time moving forward for most of it, so we'll, we'll go through the day-night cycle. I just want to make sure we had that done because I want to see if that, if those screening plants will help with stress. I don't want to see 20 stressed animals right as I click play, right? We have a broken facility over here, mechanic on route. Let's actually go ahead and do something we haven't done in a very long time. Say hello to a bunch of people. And it uh, looks like I'm touring my own zoo as well here, just kind of chilling. Fair enough, fair enough. Busro da, oh my god. <laughs> I miss going through these lists and seeing all the names and stuff. Uh, there's some good names out there. Wolf Shadow still coming through to visit. Uh, I want to mention, actually, as well, I released a video yesterday at a very uh, 
different time than usual on the channel, showcasing an adorable strategy game called Rising Lords, uh, which you might be interested in checking out. Maybe I should have mentioned that before I scared some of you away by mentioning there's no time lapse today, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's take a look at these challenges over here. The, you know what? Part of me really wants to hit this grizzly bear education challenge. Like, it's worth so little, but my, um, I don't want to say my ego, <laughs> but my feelings are hurt that we don't have a 29% education rating on the grizzly bears. Jeez. Also, I have no idea how we're ever going to hit this 95. Though, actually, I never thought we were ever going to hit 9k, but we're at 88, so that's something. Um, grizzly bears. Where are you? There you are. How is the education here so low? We've got some gaps, but like, you're, you're gonna get gaps. I guess I could turn the volume up over here. Um, Alright, let's, right, let's let's try a couple things, right? Let's pump up the volume. A little bit into Flamingo Park, but just in the corner over here, so that's not a problem. Let's actually, sorry, let's drop this by one step, because then I'll be able to up your volume to five as well. There we go. The overlap is outside of where our guests will be, so that's okay. And we have a huge blind spot over here, or a deaf spot, if you will. We're going with audio, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and... Is that a thing? Is a deaf spot a thing? I know there's frequencies we can't hear, but... Oh, no, I'm curious. Is there, like, a spot where, uh... If an odd... If, if, uh... If the sound happens, we can't hear it. And, and... Don't say... Out of earshot. Because, yes, obviously. Obviously, if a sound happens out of earshot, we can't hear it. Um, excuse me, I'd like to close you, please. There we go. Let's duplicate you over. Maybe this is, maybe this is the gap we needed to fill. All right, maybe this is the gap we need to fill. Let's pop you down over here. Let's make sure that volume is lowered a little bit, because there's definitely some overlap going on over there. All right. There we go. Learn. Learn as you walk by here. I mean, this is also a huge gap over here. This could be a part of the problem. All right, we could go ahead and get you a little bit louder. Let's go ahead and duplicate you as well. I don't know. I don't know why I'm taking that. Uh, the fact that we haven't accomplished that so personally, but I just feel like we should have been able to a while ago. Let's go ahead and pop you down over here. The grizzly bears are they're one of our most longest running animals. They've been here for so long. Now, actually, one thing I would like to see in the comments uh, would be very helpful for me is if y'all could tell me which South American and African animals you would like to see here sooner rather than later. Just as a reminder, again, I can't stress this enough, even when we move on and we're working on Elite Zoo South, we will be coming back to add more animals here. Um, my, my hope, my plan, my... Um, my uh, obsessiveness has suggested that episode 100 is a good last episode for a Elite Zoo North focus. And 101 can be Elite Zoo South, and of course, every, you know, once in a while, every so often, rather, I should say, we'll be coming back to Elite Zoo North. Uh, but between now and episode 100, we'll obviously have the time to implement some of those South American and African animals that live north of the equator. And I would like to know which one of those animals uh, you all are most interested in seeing. There are quite a few options. What's going on over here? Oh, hmm. Okay, okay, that's not a problem, because what we can do is over here, we can move the speaker over a little bit. Uh, there are quite a few options, and I'm just going to take a look at them in a moment. Give me one second over here. Uh, that I think are most uh, easily, I guess, we're, we're most easily drawn to, like, the, uh, every time. Every time. Please deselect. Uh, there is the llama, right? We'll, yeah, definitely... They're a little bit in the Northern Hemisphere. Not so much, but a little bit. Uh, we've got the Capuchin. Right? Definitely in the Northern Hemisphere. So we can definitely get them. I think they'd be fun to have. But we don't have too many monkeys in here, right? We just got the uh, the macaque. And as far as uh, apes are concerned, we could also get the Western Lowland Gorilla, I believe. Ooh, that's a... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I believe that spot is north of the equator. So that's excuse enough. Uh, and then we can also, we've got the uh, the lion, obviously. I think this is a, is a popular popular pick, and that one definitely goes north of the equator. We've got options. We've got options. We've got the spotted hyena. I've seen that come up. Um, I, I'd love to know what y'all would like to see. And again, as a reminder, episode 100, 
we'll get as many animals as we can up until then and then after that every so often we'll be coming back to include the other animals as well uh i just i just want to make everybody feel very comfortable with that idea and know that uh that that's top of mind for me as well i, I don't want to sound like a broken record i hate sounding like a broken record but i but i see the concern be brought up i see the concern get brought up every so often and i just want to address it nip it in the bud as it were um right, let's pop you down over here I really hope this does the trick. I really hope this does the trick. This is not the only thing we're going to do either. Pop you up to seven, and then we can just nudge you over slightly. There we go. Cool. And let's go ahead and take a look at our vet research, because having extra research happening helps with education, which is why you might want to have more uh, vets and stuff. I believe Michelle Weedman here is actually working on the grizzly bear, no? Where's our grizzly bear? Where are you, buddy? Where are you? I must have scrolled past you. Why have we not researched the- Oh, you know what's happened here? Wow. See, this is- Have I really completely run out of Brazilian wandering spiders? Yeah. Michelle is working on these guys here. Now, one thing I want to check, actually. So you've got, yeah, okay, it's just advanced research has the same symbol. I was like, is there a implication of how much advanced research is going on based on the rating of our, uh, of our person? No, we're good here. We're good here. Let me check one thing, though. If we go to the Bengal Tigers, is there, hmm, great to see the crowds over here. Is there a way for me to see? I can see, not maintenance, sorry, log. Hmm. Surely I'm, well, first of all, you should be grade three. This is a weird issue. Um, Got to be missing something here. Got to be a way to see education rating or something, right? feel like there was, but it's just not hitting my, uh... I could be wrong. I mean, we've got a big gap over here, to be fair, where a lot of people seem to be congregating, or at least they're walking by. Can't really say they're congregating. Let's go ahead and just, just duplicate you. And you as well, please. There we go. Come on now. There we go. Bring them over to here. I want to stay clear of the uh, sponsor boards and stuff, right? I want to make sure those still have a clear... Oh, I see why. Right, of course, that's why. We don't have power coverage here. Oh, fine. And and this curved path doesn't allow us to put anything down over here. Fair enough, fair enough. You win again, game. Uh, okay, I think we're good to not hit play because I want to go to my staff and I want to level people up. Look at that. Look at how many people we have not ranked up or anything. There's so much going on that we just haven't done. Good stuff here. Because again, every time we put down a new vendor, we hire new staff, and that new staff, thankfully, we don't have to adjust their salary as well. Um, by the way, actually, I read a really funny comment a couple of sessions ago about how uh, we pay all of our staff minimum wage. So I just want to touch on that because I thought that was funny. Uh, but this isn't minimum wage, right? This is minimum wage. Anything below that would be illegal. And I, I can't imagine that the developers would promote having the option to pay people less than minimum wage, right? Right? <laughs> that's this is what I tell myself so I can sleep at night. That that's that's got to that's the minimum, that's the market value. There we go. Right? That's the amount that that the average person in this role gets played gets paid. And that's why it's the minimum you have to pay to keep people happy. But uh there's no way this game would allow you to pay people below minimum wage. It's not not that kind of game. <laughs> I can definitely see games out there that would allow you to do that. Other business simulation games. Uh, but let's not get into that world, shall we? Anyway, I just I just read that comment and I thought it was kind of funny. I was like, hang on a second. I'm not, I'm not paying people minimum wage. I'm paying them industry standard. So that money can be used to keep the animals happy. <laughs> just uh, Elitsu North is run by somebody who's lining his pockets. No, 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 no. You see what the what the efforts we put in for our animals. Now we're good over here. We're good over here. 
I'm not so worried about making four stars into five stars, but I figure since we're here already, we might as well get to it, right? It would also be nice to scroll down more at a time. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Only a handful more left. Because again, higher tier vendors, higher tier everything, they just work faster, make guests happier, move around quicker. So much value. And it costs us next to nothing. Compared to the cost of having, you know, a facility breakdown, like if, if power supply drops from an entire region, something like that. Never a good time. Never a good time. All right, here we go. Actually, I'm wondering also what I might want to do after, like if all the management stuff gets done this session, uh, before, you know, we kind of reach that hour I like to keep these at, uh, I might do a little bit of animal trading as well. Not a big dump or anything like that. But a small little bit here and there of animals that we knew we wanted to kind of get rid of. Um, not get rid of, sorry, that sounds terrible. That we wanted to trade out uh, for the longest time. But okay, staff upgraded. Uh, grizzly bear education, you know, pushed. <laughs> and we've got, what else? The uh, Flamingo Park has its it, its coverings. I hope that's enough to, to help out over here. We'll find out. I think we're good to hit play now. Uh, see how guests are feeling. I want to see how Formosan Falls does. I want to see how um, our new friends do. Actually, I need to keep an eye on them as well. Because of food here. I believe food had just arrived. I think at the end of last session, a keeper has arrived. Yes. Good. You're running over to drop some food off. Excellent. Flora, no. Stop, stop, stop. Why do you go into this camera mode where I have to... Stop. There we go. what I mean. There's management stuff to take care of. thought I got them all. I thought I got them all. Um, can we... Go maturity. Show me only my... Zip... No, sorry. Habitat animals. Pop you on them. Pop you, you, and you, all of you. Now, the flamingos seem to not inbreed from what I've seen. They've done a good job of it, right? We're fine there. How did I miss the bison? The problem, again, is that maturity, it's not its not going by maturity, it's going by age. And so it's very possible that the bison was a lot further down. And I missed it. Or it wasn't and I missed it. Anything's possible in this world. Right? They really should be doing a little bit of trading. Looks... Like we're okay. I'll keep an eye out for the warnings. Keep an eye out for the warnings. Alright, so we've got our alpha... Sorry. Zane is our alpha male... Timberwolf. Because this is something I was mentioning I was concerned about, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at you. Who is your... Mate. Yaletha. Who is on contraceptives. Go off those contraceptives. Decent genes. I mean, the fertility and immunity increase is huge. So I'm not going to complain about that. What are the other options we have over here? I think we do have some better options, but hey. Yaletha has been chosen. Very elderly. Not, not too old, though. Hopefully we can get uh, some new puppers in here. And that's why I wanted to check. I was like, I haven't got, received a notification about a new puppy in a while. And uh, that's why. Contraceptives will do that. <laughs> Low welfare over here. What's up with you? Where? Why are you upset? Social? I'm guessing it's distress. Indeed it is. Enrichment is kind of low as well. I think the quantity has finally reached an amount that uh, the enrichment they have is not enough. Let's see. Habitat. Flamingo, food enrichment. That's all they have is forage pools. Pop one down over here. Multiple habitat or exhibit problems? What? Well, tell me what the problem is. Not enough bedding. Okay. Okay. We can fix that. 
we can fix that. The other option, by the way, that has been mentioned is that I could minimize the width of the path down here. Make sure that fewer people are, uh... I mean, who's escaped? Oh, right. Of course. How'd you get over here? Uh, how, how did you get over there? I thought we checked last session. Oh my god, that's a tumble. I thought we checked that last session. Alright, back to the uh, flamingos. We'll check again when he gets out of his box. Uh, where are we? Flamingo Park, Flamingo Park. Looking for... There we go. Little landmarks over here. Go ahead and get some small bedding. Turn our light on over here. We've got more room. Or should we put some medium bedding down instead? Downside of having a animal that uh, requires, or that can have this much of an adult population, I guess, right? I um, need to check to see if you'll need contraceptives over there. Are we good? We've added a few. I don't know if that's enough. What I could do is I could move over to the other side to our other gazebo and put some bedding underneath it as well, though it's all underwater if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, this is all underwater. Might need to put down... Might need to put down another space for them to hide in and uh, and relax. We'll have a lot of issues. Species food enrichment is still a problem. Alright, what's, what's the problem there? I think it's a quantity thing. Again, we don't really have options for variety. Do you really want me to put down another one? Guess I could put one down over here where this old entrance used to be. that sort of a thing. Get rid of some of these lights so they can eat in peace. A little bit of shade for them. Uh, food enrichment's a little bit higher. Wow. Still multiple issues. Okay, I guess I could put another feeder down. What really bothers me is that it's just the same thing over and over again. I don't really have other things I can put down for them. It looks kind of plain. I guess is the word I would use. A little repetitive. There we go. That's good. Animal is hungry up over here. Why is that? You know why? Because we don't have enough keepers or anything. So, let's go ahead and pause for a second before animals start to starve. Staff. Time to hire some more keepers. There's another thing I was talking about. Is like we've We've added so many new animals, but we haven't added the staff to sustain those new animals. Four new keepers. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, we have to wait until they land, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, okay, so four new keepers. Uh, we can add... You know what, let's go ahead and just add four more mechanics as well. Uh, where are we? Mechanic. One, two, three, and four. Let's get ourselves some more security, too. I don't think security's been a problem in a while. Ah, as I say that. Fix all that up. Yeah, we're okay. Guest happiness is kind of low. We should really take a look at that. Uh, okay, mechanic security. Let's go ahead and get one, two, three security guards. I really should have been putting down more security cameras and stuff over the recent uh, handful of episodes. Y'all have been warning me. Well, let's get some more caretakers as well. The word that I was forgetting last session, I believe it was. Alright, so, we've got four of each. It's flying in the air right now. Unfortunately, not able to assign them. Let's unpause for a second here. Down they come, and... Now we good? We're good. Good. So, let's go ahead and assign work zones and drop salaries to market value. <laughs> um, so, the Arctic definitely needs new folks, right? you down here as well. Southeast Asia need... No, East Asia needs new folks. East Asia, not entrance. Oh, is everything just East Asia entrance? I guess it is all pretty clumped up. Oh, look at the lighting. That's so much better than I'd ever anticipated it to be. Oh, man. 
I like soft blue glow. Now that's ethereal. That, that is really something. That is really something. The way the rock has been like lit from the bottom as well. You can kind of, if I turn the light off. Oh yeah, look at that. You can kind of see. That makes me very happy. That makes me very happy. It's the subtle things, you know? Alright, sorry. Uh, getting distracted here. So. East Asia. Hang on a second. There's gotta be... Oh yeah, what do you know? East Asia has just got East Asia entrance. Eight habitats. Kind of. Kind of wild, isn't it? It's kind of wild. Where is our... What's the spread over here? It's hard to split it any further though is the thing. These are all pretty, pretty close. I mean, I guess... Hang on, what's going on here? Why is this not marked? Like, why do I not see its boundaries? I mean, that's weird. Yeah, it's all kind of like centralized. I could split it into this section and this section. Don't don't think I need to. Uh, honestly, I don't think I need to. I think it's just a matter of uh, quantity of staff. I think if we just get a few more people handling East Asia entrance in the Arctic zone, we'll be fine. So that's what we'll do. We'll split this guy's East entrance and uh, Arctic zone. Set you up for Arctic and set you up for East Asia entrance. Cool. That's our mechanics taken care of. We might need mechanics elsewhere as well, or I might want to set some of them to have no work zone, but we'll we'll deal with that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, right? Cross that bridge when we get there. Let's set both of you to Arctic. Set both of you to East Asia entrance. Right? And there we go, and you as well. And our security guards, I think we're going to keep them as... Uh, keep them without a work zone. I think that works best. Arctic for you. It bothers me that the um, caretakers are the only people who start at a salary that you can't drop by a notch. Whereas I think everybody else you can. It's kind of like, hang on a second. Why? Why? <laughs> why do caretakers get the short end of the stick? Why don't they get to start at a notch above minimum notches? Uh, let's get you guys... East Asia entrance. And you as well, my good friend. East Asia entrance. Boom. Done. Alright, cool. Hopefully that'll help alleviate some of the stress. Uh, we get to resume? I think so. Actually, you know what? Before I resume... Oh, 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 oh he's so small. Not gonna find food there. Alright, uh, before I resume, I do want to take a quick look at our animals. Because again, I, uh, not, our, not just animals, but specifically our exhibit animals, because uh, this is something that has been slipping ever since we stopped doing it uh, at the start of every session. Which is not a bad call. I don't want to keep doing it at the start of every session. But um, ever since we stopped that, it's been getting out of hand more often than not. Uh, are we good over here? No, we're not. Go ahead and get rid of you too, please. Oh, was my bad. That was my bad. Yellow anaconda. There we go. You. Gotta keep a breeding pair. That uh, that would help. That would help. Good here. We have a pregnancy. The titan beetles are okay. We have a pregnancy. And some elderly. We're fine here. And we are fine. Get rid of some of you. There we go. Let's get rid of you as well. Cool. Fine there. Alright, that's all done. Let's head back to Om Nom Nom. Still probably one of my favorite, <laughs> like, places. It's just so cool to have uh, an idea that has been around since, what, episode 10, I want to say, or something? 
I can't even remember when we had the uh, the the tortoises, you know, use the bridge. That's how long these guys have been around for. That's how long Om Nom Nom has existed for. In a different format, sure. A different layout, sure. With a different degree of success or failure, if you will, sure. But uh, an idea that's lasted. Okay, let's keep you, keep you, everybody else to the trade center. Cool, and we'll we'll empty out the trade center as well. The exhibit trade center specifically, at least. And then down over here. Now, hopefully, we do get some pups as well. And also, right, so this is where we have a bigger problem. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of you. Let's go. Shouldn't have mixed the, the ages. This is where the problem is. The Brazilian wandering spider, right? Let's go ahead and get ourselves some Brazilian wandering spiders. Bring you in over here. And bring you in over here. People coming down here looking for an animal that we know isn't in the zoo. Terrible. Okay, we're good here. Need some more babies, though. We're good here. We're about to have some babies. All right. Let me just check this again. We're okay, right? Yeah, we're okay. Over here, we need to go ahead and... Oh, my God. Really empty this out. They do not like big crowds. Let's keep you and you. There we go. That'll help their welfare a lot. And I believe... Nope, that isn't everything. We forgot about our lovely critters in the corner over here. Start with the ones we are... Not completely um, forced to cringe by, if I could find them again. Where are you? There you are. Y'all are fine, and here we go. Oh, oof. I hate it. I hate every moment of it. Don't like this. I don't like this. There we go. We're good. We're done. We can leave. There we go. Roaches, man. Uh, I think that's all of them. And we can go ahead to exhibit trading, to the storage, 54. Select all, book trade, done. A little bit of money made, and actually I should check. Yeah, it looks like we made some money last year. This year, yeah, wow, look at the difference. Last year we were paused for so long and we built so many enclosures. Two years ago, we, wow, that was, it's gotta be because of the construction, right? Um, actually. Oh no, that was a huge drop in income there. Yeah, hmm. Shop income and donations were pretty low. Fair enough. Fair enough. Nonetheless, we're back up on our feet now, making money again. That's good. It is November, and actually it being November, perhaps before I hit play, one last thing to check, or a couple things to check over here before <laughs> before it's January. 180 for the uh, pandas, and 689 for the pandas. So, I mean... I'm not picking the winners here. The crowds are. Another 157 over there. Not that these ones count for the game. But uh, I just want to see 280 over here. All right, we're making some money. We're making some money over here, finally. You know what? That feels good. That just feels good to have these crowds showing up. Now, do these guys get any love? That's the question. Oh, they do. Oh, that's wonderful. Again, we can't see all of the guests, right? Just as a reminder, we cannot see all of the guests that are in the uh, the zoo. Oh, and look at this crowd. Oh, that's amazing. The trains are seeing some action, too. I think dropping the price was very well worth it. Um, no, don't go home. Stay here. You're hungry and you're tired. Should I maybe put some stuff over here? Wouldn't be a bad idea. Make it an entire train station, which includes some eateries and things up here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, let's get guest facilities. We could get some benches down. I could get a gulpy energy or something down here as well. Right? I think it's the right call. Yeah, you pass under the train. We can get the fancy kind of entrance thing going on over here. Hmm. How would I want this to be? I think over here along the side of the train entrance. Yeah, that, 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 that makes sense to me. Let's go ahead with a gulpy energy over here. Make it all a part of the station, right? Because I do want to build a station here as well. Again, that's that's why I feel like we need a couple of episodes of just beauty passes because um because we've uh we've we've left so much to do. We've left so much to do. You know what? I'm gonna get a Monsieur Frit here because there's something called so we're right next to uh Japan, right? There's something called 
Paris syndrome, I believe is its term. Uh, Paris syndrome? Paris, yeah, syndrome, I think. Um, and last time I checked this, uh, I'd, I'd previously verified this many years ago, but please verify this before you go out quoting me, and I should... I didn't think I'd be going on this little ramble over here, so I haven't verified before recording this. But I'm pretty sure it's called Paris Syndrome. And basically, uh, the idea of France is so hyped up in Japan. Like, through the roof. Oh, Paris, such a romantic city, such a beautiful city, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And I love Paris, don't, don't get me wrong, I love Paris. I've been there very recently, want to go back there very soon. Uh, I love it, beautiful city. But... Uh, it's been built up so much in like advertising and stuff over in uh, over in Japan that apparently a lot of the time when people arrive in Paris and they see, you know, that it is a city and like every city, it has its flaws, right? Every city around the world has a little bit of everything, some places more than others, but Paris isn't a utopia, much like I don't think any city in the world is a utopia. Um but apparently, people, when they see the reality of Paris and France as a whole, they uh, a lot of them go into a horrible, depressive state to the point that, again, I can't remember now, but I'm pretty sure, uh, if, I, if I remember my reading correctly, the Japanese embassy in Paris has a hotline for people who are suffering from Paris syndrome and that sense of depression. Um, so maybe it's a little morbid to have a Monsieur Frit over here, but, uh, but you know what? It was a learning opportunity, and I, I took it. I can't help myself. Do we got an info center over here as well? Maybe. You got an info center, so you get your drink. You get your meal. Your fries. Yeah, a little bit of, a, you know, maybe you donate to something, like you adopt an animal, or you uh, get some umbrellas or something. You know, a variety of things we can do over here. Maybe some merchandise on your way out as well. We have any room over here? We do. Get something down over here. Maybe a hat's fantastic. Haven't put one of these down no, in a while. Sure. Exit the group, please. I do not want it to snap. There we go. Like that. I love a little chime. Cool. So that should... Again, we'll decorate this as well. Oh, we can really make this really pretty, actually. I can see it right now. Have a nice kind of roof coming out over top. Cover the, uh, the, the queue up as well. Oh, I'm really excited for that. Cool. Um, but yes, this should hopefully cover us for um for people's fatigue and stuff again this is why another reason why i wanted to do a bit of a management session is because i wanted to be able to take a look at what i think i mentioned this earlier like what are the guests saying how are they feeling um are there any you know glaring holes that we need to fill and clearly as we probably should have predicted up over here energy food drink big problems but hopefully these will help solve those problems. Because yeah, now they can pick up stuff over here, or if they've got the energy for it, they can come down to uh, another one of my top favorite names. Uh, so much to do. Top favorite like plaza names. It's hard to pick favorite names. There's so many solid gold names. All thanks to y'all. Uh, all right, benches are down. All this is down. Bins, right? I was like, there was something else that's important, and I know I'm forgetting. Bins. Always got to put down bins. All right, put you down over there. Put some on this side as well. Variety is the spice of life, right? Variety and bin placement. All right, hopefully that'll keep people engaged up over here for longer. Um, and we could check some other spots as well. I mean, like, we've got people coming through. Definitely very glad that I put this... Uh, I think someone in the comments called it the, uh, like, the Malacca Strait or something. That just... Great bit of insight with that name. Uh, I, I was tempted to actually name it something along those lines after I saw that comment because, yeah, it's very much the connection uh, from India to, you know, Taiwan and Japan. So, yeah, hey, makes sense. <laughs> Heading to Crash Corner, so you're actually headed this way. Thirst is a problem, but for that kind of stuff, we've got solutions down over here. Hopefully that's not too far away. Oh, I don't want to click on any balloons by mistake. These guys are all happy over here. Now, why is happiness so low? Why are your times at these exhibits all just okay? Like, I think we can all agree that the red keep... I, I know that sometimes I make these enclosures way too big and the views are bad, blah, 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 blah. Totally. 100%, I hear you, I agree. I do it very often. But I think we can all agree that the red keep is 
a relatively perfectly balanced situation. Where do I go to see guest thoughts? I know there was a button. I know there used to be a button. Why can I not? Oh, no guests have recently visited this habitat. That's why I can't see it. And yet I can see that person's thought down there. Um, wish I could have stayed longer to see some of these animals. And typically that's because of fatigue, right? But we've got benches in this area. We've got plenty of benches in this area. Oh, are you are you kidding me? Do we not have any bins nearby? Oh, would you look at that? I don't? Oh, okay. Well, that's on me then. That's on me then. Let's go ahead and get some bins down over here. Overestimated my guests, I guess. We got bins up over here though, right? We got bins up there. We got bins over here. Guess I could put bins down over here as well. Doesn't hurt. One there and one over here. There we go. Now over here. Get one down here. Get one down over here. Got bins down over here already. Don't tell me you're making messes in here as well. This place looks clean. That's good. Because we have a bin right outside it on both sides, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, that, that ought to do the trick. Jeez. These people. Liking the space, liking the rides. Good view of the saltwater crocodile. Alright, finally seeing some good reviews, followed by that one. How, how could you possibly complain about a view of the saltwater crocs? Got so many of them. These guys are all happy. I wish I had a donation bin up there. We're fine. We're making more than enough money. Oh my god, we're making a lot of money. These crocs. Alright. Crikey indeed. That's a fair bit, of, fair bit of money made. What's going on over here? Thirst is a problem. Heading to Crikey Creek. Well, why wouldn't you take a drink on your way there? Oh, this guy's heading to Crikey Creek. Headed to Nanook Nook via the small steam train. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. People are getting adventurous. Anyway, let, let's let's hit play. Let's let's let time progress a little bit. See if uh, we made a difference up over here, especially. Temple of Aura, great. Nihonzaru Springs, which again, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of. I apologize. I do try to nail it as much as possible. Edit it, Catman Do by the small steam train. All right, good stuff. Or the toilets, that's important too. Temple where okay, multiple animals are stressed. I'm guessing Flamingo Park. Alright, so the screening bushes have done nothing. Dangerous fighting for alpha status. It was pointed out to me that like fighting for alpha status is uh it can be dangerous, but also not dangerous. Like dangerous fighting typically means an injury is likely. But some animals that's just kind of what happens, right? When there's fighting. Do you hear the people saying, aw? <gasps> no. What an angel. Like I was encroaching on it with the light. Don't, oh my god, don't wake up. Oh, that's mean. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I decided to stay here. These are the moments we miss out on as the uh, who gets more and more busy, dense. I was promised a baby. Look at that face. That's the face I often make when playing this game. <laughs> like hands on either side of the uh, of the, of the head. They look like they're having a good time. Seeing that snow leopard eat is making me hungry. Well, there's food nearby. Good view of the giant panda, that's good. Scenery is awesome, a little bit of thirst. Is that red panda going to the bathroom? What's wrong with that? Why does that make you unhappy? Yes, animals poop. It's what they do. We all poop. Okay? Jeez. 
god. So rude. It's, it's in an enclosure. What do you want it to do? Let it poop in peace. I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> I'm a lot more upset about that making people upset than maybe I should be. But jeez. It's an animal. <laughs> Everything poops. Party Elite 2020. Uh, Alright, looks like these things are seeing a little bit of engagement, so that's good. I really like this area. I wish I knew which area you were talking about. I can only assume... Oh, what? You Y'all saw that change, right? They immediately went, like, their stats are pretty good. They've got a decent bit of energy. It's all green. But they went from everything happy to all of a sudden unhappy because they wish they'd seen more animals. But if you wish you'd seen more animals, then why didn't you... Why didn't you... Stay? That's a little confusing. Because many of you have pointed out in the past that, like, when, when people complain like that, it means that I should put more benches down. But these guys were all fully happy when the time came. These animals are still hungry. Why has food not arrived here? Where's our keeper? Come on now. Feed these guys quickly. Keeper being requested. Buddy over here is walking through. Oh, did you just stock this up? Yeah, you did. Come on. Low welfare. I'm guessing because of food, right? Yeah. Nourishment is a problem here. That that should be easily solved. Um, Alright, is it time to pull the trigger on Flamingo Park and just raising the path? Or, as some of you have pointed out, shrinking it. Allowing fewer people through at a time. The problem, my concern with shrinking it is if we take a look at Tortu Galapagos here. Well, I guess it's fine now, but mainly because we can't see it. But we were getting a lot of congestion. And I guess that's my concern, is the congestion. Oh, I don't know. Be a good way to prevent... I mean, yeah, I might just raise... Raise it or make it smaller. Alright, well, you know, just sitting here looking at it, it's not going to do anything. Well, let's try and solve this problem. Kind of bums me out, I'm not going to lie. I like what we made here, but... If it needs to change, it needs to change. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. Alright, let's go ahead and break you. Okay, so you come through. Let's go with width 4. Let's go with, with like five at least. Right. There we go. We'll be able to connect here, no problem. Yep. We we'll continue on this way. Not exactly the angle I would have wanted, but take it. Move you over there, and we should be able to connect down over here as well. Right, so now we've reduced the density of the traffic at the very least. That does the trick. We'll see, you know. On a shrug and hope for the best. And if that doesn't do the trick, then a raised platform, I suppose, is the next potential solution. And if that doesn't do the trick, then then, I don't know, then we gotta close it and just make it a a not so mingly flamingo park, I suppose. How are our rangers doing, Freya? How you doing? Oh my God, adorably! Look at that tail. Run free ish. Uh, maybe not the most well thought out thing to say. There we go. Having a good time here. Nutrition's a little low. Last drink cleanliness. Hang on a second. I thought we had. We don't. Whoa. When did this happen? I mean, a long time ago, obviously. This water not being clean isn't a problem. This water not being clean is a major problem. Okay, let's fix that right now. I could have sworn we had uh, filtration nearby. All right, okay, okay. Uh, let's fix that. Wow, gross. Oh, you know what? Hey, hang on, wasn't I? Oh, right. Of course, okay, well, let's go ahead and edit this barrier then. 
guess I could make you steel mesh. I guess I can't. Make you a null. Okay, I guess I can't do that either. What are you talking about. Why can't I not make you a null? Rain too uneven for placement. If we can't do it like this, disrupts lake placement. Okay. Too many intertwining mechanics. Let's see. Oh, this is a problem. Well, it's fine. We'll just put another treatment down, like another treatment uh, thing down. I thought, right, this is blocked off, obviously. It just looks like it's connected. And this, yeah, this I didn't realize that we we blocked it off like that. I don't think. Let's see if we can't fix this. Let's see. Too uneven. Flat top, editable bottom. Still won't allow it, I don't think. Come on. You know you want to. Okay. Pull over to here. Pull over to there. Oh, now where's my water? Obstructed. Obstructed. What's obstructing you? Not surprised, obviously. Alright, let's undo that. Let's undo all that. We're better off putting another filtration system down. We've got room for it. The uh, negative impact zone is so small lately. I'm glad I noticed that, though. Wow. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Um... Water treatment. Please and thank you. Uh, do I put it up over here? Clean water all around there. We're good. We obviously still need staff access, right? Let's not forget. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, negative impact zone. Because again, it is pretty tiny. Yeah, we could probably put you down over here. Drop you down over here. And once we decorate the area around it, we'll be fine, right? And that should clean up the water. Yes. Good. Ugh. Feels bad. Alright, let's go ahead and get the pathing down over here. Doesn't need to be extra wide. Thank you. We'll be able to just connect you. Like so. Sure. And let's get some trees down as well. Just to doll the area up a little bit. There we go. Nice giant tree back over here as well. You never have too many giant trees, right? And if we take a look at the negative impact zone. Yeah, it's small enough. We don't need to overdo it. But I, I can always make it prettier for the sake of making it prettier. That's uh, never a bad thing either, I suppose. There you go. Nicely covered up. Yeah, we're, we're good there. Alright, cool. Well, I'm glad I checked that. Glad I checked that all these things that are getting away from me. Now, these animals are still starving over here. Well, there's food on your... food spike tree thing, if you would just... go and have some of that. Why, why can't they reach it? That's the question I should be asking. Why can't they reach it? Hmm... Animal welfare here. Yeah, they can get here just fine. But also, since launch, this game has had this issue where, like, keepers don't put food into the... onto the feeding platforms. Come on. Olga's about to have offspring. Yes. Yes. Give me that foofy kitty. They're so cute. They're so cute. Little ear wiggles. I don't think babies come when they're asleep. I think they have to wake up, lie down, and then the babies magically appear. Uh, but look at that. We're getting some proper crowds over here. That is a trash can. I wanted to look at a donation bin. Alright, uh, small donation. A decent donation. There we go. Wakey wakey. Oh, this is good. This is a dope view. I mean, this is pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. 
watch some of the uh, guests are going to complain about. Oh, is that tiger having a baby tiger? Gross. Is that tiger pooping? I'm still I'm still annoyed that seeing an animal poop makes the guests so unhappy. That was a red alert, wasn't it? Protesters. Probably for the macaque. Oh, that was the baby. I just missed it. Yeah, of course it's for these guys. Okay, listen. This is not funny. I'm starting to get a little worried. Take you to quarantine. Where's our other unhappy monkey? We're all unhappy. Request quarantine. Get them taken care of. Let's take care of them. I know that's not how that's said. Staff are queuing up. The keeper hut over here. Alright, alright, alright. Where is this keeper hut? Providing to. Oh, there we go. Up to 3220. Oh, you know what? I need to, I need to name some of these habitats as well. No, we're fine. None of these inflict. Okay. Hopefully we've got those animals taken care of now. At least temporarily, right? Just get them fed. At the very least. That's starting to really concern me. Like, the other option, obviously, is we could put, uh... Put you down. Put another one of you down somewhere. Still has three kilograms of food. Has not been used in the last 12 months. I think that tells us everything we need to know. Go ahead and put you down over here. You're just in the middle. Just in the middle. Where they're guaranteed to be able to get food, hopefully. Or a mechanic coming through. No, I need a keeper. I want the keeper to put food down. I want these monkeys fed. Feed. My monkeys. This is looking good. Someone just lost their balloon. But overall, getting some crowds over here. I think it's all people ready to go home. No one's really coming here to eat or drink or anything. How is your happiness so low when your recent thoughts are all so happy? You could have stayed longer, buddy. What's wrong with you? He's got energy. He's got everything. Oh, whatever. Some people can't be pleased, I suppose. Some people just can't be pleased. But... If you were pleased by this session, please don't hesitate to let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below, folks. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel, but this is where we're going to call it a session. It seems as though narrowing this path might have done the trick, and if that does the trick, then I'll be more than happy. I will be elated. Uh, we haven't had a warning in a little bit. I'm really concerned about these Japanese macaque. I'm really hoping that... Uh, Quarantine will feed them at the very least, and then hopefully our keepers will come through and start putting food down over here again. I've seen food placed here before. We know it can happen. We know it's not a problem. Uh, it's just a matter of the game just opting not to, I suppose. Um, next session, I hope to come through again and really cap this off and add some decoration on top of some of these stores that we've got litter littered around here and there. Uh, actually, that reminds me. Do we not have a food spot over here? We do. Right. So, Wolf It Down is a name that I want to reserve for something up over here. Our info center. Your Fox Copy. We've got our Chili Dogs. All right. Here, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Go ahead. Before we call it, going to add mm, some kind of food. What kind of food? What kind of food? we got hot dogs. Did not mean to delete that. Let's go with Mexilente. Feels... Fitting? Question mark? I don't know. Do any of these feel fitting? Cosmic ice cream. Russian themed. Having ice cream when it's cold. We do it in Canada. I'm sure it's done in Russia too. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. Go ahead and pop this down. Over here. Again, I really like the kind of funky shapes we're getting. Now this we'll call Wolf It Down. And the reason why, reason why I want to do that, wolf it down, is because the name that I actually meant to put up over here is a catch-related one because it's a lot closer to our 
Tigers, and that name is Catnip. Is yeah, right, yeah, right, right. <laughs> There was a couple of variants of that provided. I, I like just the straight up catnip. Uh, on which note, actually, sorry, this episode is not over until we take a moment. Where are you? Body. Oh, there. oh such a cutie. That like gazing upon. What is this, mom? Dad. Wanting to be like dad? Maybe. Galena. Halina? Galena? I reckon- why do I recognize this name? These genetics, though, those are some pretty good genes. Not bad at all, not too shabby. Oh, so cute. Look at that determined look. Look at that. Look at those- look at the color of the eyes as well. Absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful animal. I want to know what it's about to do with this, Dad. Oh, that's- that is adorable. That really just tells a story, doesn't it? <laughs> I made this. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. That tells a story. <laughs> oh, that's too good. All right, folks. That's the happy note that I'm going to call it a session on. Hope you enjoyed this one. Like I said before, if you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. Lots of big plans for next session. I will be reading through all your comments from the previous session right after I finish recording this one, which will be in like 10 or 20 seconds. Uh, and then, of course, I'll be reading your comments to this episode before I record the next one. So keep them coming, folks. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis to keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>